Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are y'all doing? I am Mike D, a.k.a. DDE80, a.k.a. 13th Wonder of the World. I'm back with y'all for a few for a preview of NXT tonight. There's really no sports going on except for baseball, golf. I mean, excuse me, baseball, tennis, and um, soccer. Uh, Braves look like they're in a, in a little battle right now, but I'm hoping that they win. Astros as well tonight playing, and the Dodgers hoping that they can pull out something tonight for us all. Um, WNBA playoffs start tomorrow night. Uh, recap on Aaron Rodgers. It's sad that he's out for the whole season. Um, he was one of my top five quarterbacks that, that needed to prove that he could get to the Super Bowl because the Jets had everything lined up for him and now he's out for the whole season. And that actually sucks for Aaron Rodgers because what, how is he gonna, how is his mentality gonna be next year when he comes back to play? You know, is he gonna be able to, you know, play to the potential that he has or is he gonna be kind of skittish about it or what? Uh, a lot of people don't know that yet, but you know, Godspeed, the uh, Aaron Rodgers that he get himself together. Uh, Nia Jax showing up on Raw last night was a shock. It wasn't a shock to me because I knew she was coming back to WWE, but they waited until this match that they had between Rhea and um, Raquel to have the match happen to where she comes in and interferes. Hopefully this will be a big push for her to come back and win. I don't understand why they build people, build performers up to come back if they're not going to give them the gold at the time. You know, it's just, it's just going to be simple. It's going to be real simple to see because I still think that Rhea Ripley is going to be the Roman Reigns of the women's division. That's just my thought about it. That's just my opinion about it. And that's just my, um, that's just my, you know, conclusion to that situation about Rhea and Nia and uh, Raquel. Also, ladies and gentlemen, tonight is NXT. There is a number one contenders match. I, I think it's this week um, between um, Dragunov and Wesley, the winner of that match, challenges Carmelo for the NXT title and no mercy. Uh, also tonight, um, I'm outside, ladies and gentlemen. So if you hear the noise, that's the neighbor next door. Um, also, ladies and gentlemen, um, tonight is the women's title match of NXT between Tiffany Stratton and Becky Lynch. I don't know who's going to win this. I have a suggestion that Becky's going to win. I think they're going to cool off Stratton's Jets and give um, Becky the one accomplishment that she has not gotten yet and that's to be the nxt you know women's champion you know if you go back to the four horsemen four horse women excuse me of charlotte sasha bailey and becky all the other three have won the nxt title except for becky so you know and it's never too late in her career to win it you know but I wouldn't be shocked if Tri if Tiffany Stratton beat her and became the the NXT Women's Champion. I mean, to retain the NXT Women's Title. I think that if you want to cool down her just just a little bit, take the belt off her. If you know that she is the star of the, of tomorrow, of today, then keep it on her, or let her lose and let her be back in a rematch to sit back into the main, back to the main roster. But you're going to have to protect Becky Lynch if you do bring her, bring her to that situation of her winning the NXT Women's Title. It's just that plain and simple, ladies and gentlemen. I believe that it's a. In my gut feeling, I think that Becky Lynch will possibly become the NXT Women's Champion. I've been wrong a lot, and I'm not afraid to say I, I was wrong. I was wrong. But I'm here to tell you, I think that the momentum's on Becky. And I think Becky, but don't get me wrong, Tiffany Stratton has great momentum too. So who's going to have the better momentum after this match? 
Is Becky going to NXT to do the job for Tiffany? Or is Tiffany going to get beat by one of the best women in the game right now? And that's Becky Lynch. But I will say this, though. If Becky Lynch does win tonight, then she is almost close, not close to Charlotte Flair, but she's knocking on the door of Charlotte Flair's status. It's just that plain and simple. You know, also, we're going to see what happened with Braun Breaker, Baby Steiner, and um, Von Wagner. Von Wagner, according to what everybody's saying, they say that the spot that they did with the steps on the head actually did happen, and Von Wagner did bust his head. So we're going to see what that's about tonight as soon as NXT comes on in about the next 21 minutes, you know. Also, shout out to the Point Place family. God bless you and God keep you. Enjoy the night. I will be back on tomorrow with some Major League Baseball recap as well as the NXT recap. Did Becky do it or did she not do it? Did Tiffany was able to hold on to a strap? Who's the number one contender for Carmelo? You know, also the Heritage Cup tournament still going on. Uh, look like Nathan Frazier is back in the mix. I want to see how far he gets. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I am Mike D, a.k.a. D-E-E-80, a.k.a. 13 Wonder of the World. I want you guys to have a good night. I'll talk to you later.